So JD has scored a monster, monster win as the one advertiser that decided to stand with him earns hundreds of millions of dollars, becoming the best-selling product in its field in the world. While places like Warner Brothers, they look on wondering what went wrong, having two franchises potentially tank, firing everyone that was in charge when he was actually let go. I mean, if this isn't vindication after Warner Brothers decided they would unceremoniously fire the man, thinking no one would care, no one would take notice, yeah, I don't know what is. Now, what is truly astounding about this is the mainstream media, the same places that are putting out hit pieces on the man right now, they've been forced to acknowledge this success. They're salty about it, too. You can see that in this headline right here. Yeah, this this is winning. This is winning big time, too. You and I, we're going to talk about that today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently. And when I talk about winning and success, I want to be very clear on what JD has had to overcome. And you can see this pointed out again and again by the mainstream media. Just look at these titles here. JD fans flock to buy his Dior aftershave as the brand sticks by the actor after he lost his quote-unquote wife Rhymes with Walmart, greeter, libel trial, internet searches for the fragrance shoot up 23%. Make no mistake, that is a life ruination tactic too. They try to make a label stick to JD, they try to intimidate Dior, and they do it over and over again. Here's another one. Wife, again, rhymes with Walmart, greeter. JD helps sales of Dior Cologne to increase despite the ruling which saw the star 58 quote-unquote Cancelled by some in Hollywood, the Sauvage Elixir Cologne JD promotes has sold out in both UK and US. The media, they wanted to break up this relationship so badly at one time, in fact, that they started writing hit pieces talking about how the ads, they could be pulled if people complained to the Advertising Standards Authority. And they noted here, quote, We have received a total of 11 complaints about this ad. A spokesman for the Advertising Standards Authority said, with the complainants believing that JD shouldn't be in the ad due to details concerning Concerning his recent court case. So they were trying to get it canceled. They were trying to get people together. Despite their best efforts, though, they couldn't break up this relationship. And not only that, they couldn't convince the consumer to walk away. They tried. I mean, they tried a lot, but they couldn't get it to happen. And then they were forced to capitulate and actually report on success. Listen to this. This is embedded in one of their hit pieces. Quote, Beauty website Cosmify claims internet searches for the clone have increased by 23%. Remember, too, that is a baseline for the internet searches these days. It's up by 23%, but when it's talked about in, say, a courtroom, it skyrockets well above that. It's also, this was at that time, the best-selling mail scent at the fragrance shop and is in the bestseller list at the perfume shop, reports the publication. Now, that level of success, oh, it infuriated the media, and spoiler warning, it's going to get even bigger. I mean, they got to the point where they were dragging out their own quote-unquote PR experts. They were talking about how fashion companies, they live in their own bubble. They don't know exactly what everyone else thinks. Yeah, what everyone else thinks was they were going to give this brand money as long as they stayed the course. But listen to how they tried to get them to back away. I think it would be sensible for Dior to sever links with JD. Anything can be stopped by pressing a button if they really want to. A brand like Dior is not just looking at this territory. The attitude toward JD in the UK will be very different to the one in Eastern Europe, for example. Brands hope for short-term memory loss and long-term amnesia. These fashion companies live in their own bubble. It's like the Devil Wears Prada film. Now, the media, oh, they get even saltier about this big win. Why? Because it keeps getting bigger. You see that Dior, they're sticking with JD, and this, it is paying off. I mean, to the point that they can't keep the product in. I mean, it, it just flies off the shelves. 
Quote, a source close to the actor told the Mail on Sunday, J.D.'s fan base is stuck by him and remains loyal to him. And you know why they do that, by the way? They keep bringing up, it's because they're a bunch of fangirls. No, it's because people know that this guy is not guilty, they don't think that he should have been canceled, and they're willing to say that with their wallets. Continuing, he has enjoyed a professional relationship with Dior since 2015, and he is currently promoting the new Sauvage Elixir Cologne, which is selling out on both sides of the Atlantic. And that was true, by the way. If you look this up online, you couldn't find it to pick up because they couldn't keep it in. And that is a huge testament to the selling power of this and how people saw this relationship with Dior. Because you're talking about, you know, with the beer bug, you're talking about with escalating prices, people still keep picking up up a product that typically you're not going to see them pick up, that being a fragrance, an immense fragrance at that. Continuing on down here through the picture. So they continue to say that sales have actually increased in Dior. They have no plans to drop him. In fact, many fans are going out and buying the new cologne just to show their support for him. Now, you could tell that this, it was going to be big, too. I mean, if you look at YouTube alone, I mean, look at these numbers right here. Since September 11, 2021, Sauvage, the new elixir, so this is a commercial, a 43-second advertisement. Look at how many views that it's gotten. 86 million 841,584 views. That's how many people have sought this out so they could watch it on their own. Again, they're watching an advertisement. Dior understood that this was going to turn into big money for them as well, but nobody realized just how big this was going to get. So when I say a monster win, I'm talking about a monster financial win with the windfall from supporting JD. Whew, man, I mean, Dior, they rake it in hand over fist. A bottle of Dior Sauvage, it sells every three seconds in 2021, and this doesn't just make it the best selling perfume in men's categories, which would be impressive. It also, it eclipses female sales too, which has never been done before. Quote, this is the first time a men's fragrance has taken the worldwide first place spot. However, since its initial launch in 2015, it has seen continued success financially. So you're talking about a brand that looped in with JD they made money hand over fist, just like so many others have done. But unlike those others, they didn't back away. They stuck with him. They managed to take something all the way to the top. It's never been done. Yeah, that's winning right there. And the places like Warner, like I was saying before, they're sitting on the sidelines wondering, what exactly did we do here? What exactly went wrong? Anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. As always, appreciate the heck out of you, too. Sub, share, you know that drill. Thank you, too. Going to end here again. Thank you. Check out our merchandise as well. That's definitely good stuff right now. But yeah, we will see you soon.